Hello everyone! So today we're going to see together how to share your WooCommerce products on additional channels. And I created a new test user on Nimble, so I'll behave as a new user, anybody of you who's just completely new. So my products tab is totally empty, I just have three options, create my first product, import listings, or uh, well I can refresh if I uh, by any chance had already imported. So right now I want to import my listings from uh, WooCommerce because we focus on WooCommerce today. I click import listings, I end up on the channels tab where all channels are not configured and you can see there's one, two, three, four and five press the shop, WooCommerce, eBay, Etsy and Shopify which have the import button which doesn't work because we need to first of all log in. So we let's go on WooCommerce and click login I need to paste my entire URL complete. So this is it with HTTP or if you have HTTPS column slash slash blah blah blah. Get started. Uh, we are already on WooCommerce. This is uh, our uh, username and password. In your case you'll have to type them or you may also be already logged in if you're using the same browser. And here uh, WooCommerce asks you if you want to give permission to Nimble as an app to create products on your behalf. And uh, of course, yes, uh, you approve. And now we're going to end up in the settings. All right, so this warning is just for uh, test users. You may want to set uh, the quantity sync on. And uh, that's it, publish to WooCommerce you don't really need the settings yet because you're importing and uh, there's no importing settings for now we might include uh, or add uh, the choice of category so save changes and now WooCommerce is uh, set up and we just uh, click import and in this case Nimble will connect uh, to WooCommerce and import 10 uh, uh, random products from from WooCommerce and it's going to take a little time so we just go in the well the products type the little time was very short so here there's one two three four five ten products right oh wow nine so there's probably one more coming let's see still nine anyway it's gonna take some time never mind okay so now we imported uh, some products we want to share them for instance on eBay so we go on uh, channels and we log in into you will log in into your eBay account and uh, I'm going to log in into my own again I'm using the same browser so my login and password are typed in already I sign in eBay is going to ask uh, similar permissions as WooCommerce so do you want an able to uh, act uh, on your behalf on your own eBay account. Yes, I agree. And now we're going to end up in settings. So this is the same for all channels. You always have uh, an authorization, and uh, and then the settings, the settings show up. Show up. Uh, it takes more time, more time the more settings you have, right? So eBay has a lot of publishing rules, and. Uh, Therefore, it just takes a little bit of time. And here, uh, there's a lot of settings you may have. The best thing to start with is you just choose uh, eBay default policies, which are uh, created by, by Nimble. And we're going to publish as by now, new conditions. And we're going to say, uh, my listings has to last as, as long as possible. Save. Settings saved. So it's done. We go back on products we for instance uh, select them all then uh, we just decide not to uh, not to uh, share this test and not to share this other one here so we just uh, we've selected seven products we publish them and uh, we unselect WooCommerce and we publish them on eBay boom so now these guys are going when we refresh go from uh, uh, import let's do it refresh it's still working right okay and uh, so this of course is a product with no 
So this is working, the other ones are going to be working very soon. We have uh, servers pacing these uh, roughly uh, a product each uh, five seconds. This is because channels allow us uh, some time. And uh, you can see there was an error here. This uh, you get a, whenever you see, let me do it back. So you see this yellow, yellow triangle, it means there was an error. And if you click on it, you will see the error. And it says product uh, needs at least one image. So in this case, you have to correct this product because otherwise it won't uh, go online. You need to duplicate and add one image or uh, delete it. Go back in WooCommerce, add the image in WooCommerce and import again. Nimble will not import twice the same product, so you can do this safely. And here we are, refreshed again. So by now we have uh, uh, the imported product. So we still have nine, which means that I only had the nine products in, uh, in WooCommerce. And uh, we have one still working and the other ones are published. Let's uh, pick uh, one of these. And uh, here it says it's imported from WooCommerce, published uh, to eBay. I can click and see my listing on eBay. Just a second, here it is, right? So this is exactly the product as imported from, from WooCommerce. In a few seconds, we shared it with uh, two images down to, down to eBay. Okay, you, sorry, this is a test product, so you will see some, you may see some, uh, some rubbish in my, in my tests and in every now and again, okay? Awesome. So it took just a few seconds. In this case, we work with uh, seven products. You may work with uh, hundreds. It's just a, it will take a little bit more time because, as I said, we are uh, we're pacing publications because channels APIs just give us uh, any, a given number of calls per, uh, per, per, per hour or per day. So thank you very much. Give it a try. 10 products is free. Now I couldn't import other 10 products again from WooCommerce, but I could import products from another channel and of course it's easy to you know go and log in for instance on, on Facebook and and uh, here we are and uh, share on uh, some page right but that's this is getting long so just do it with uh, with a couple of products boom oops sorry just two and publish and in this case we are just adding facebook publish boom okay now we're going to be having these two products on our facebook page and with a backlink with a backlink to to woocommerce which is also pretty cool still working and this is gone see you can see this was a e-commerce eBay in facebook published i just see what's going on on facebook and here it is, right? And if I click on it, I'm going to end up on WooCommerce. Here we are. Pretty cool. So thank you very much. Write us a note, any need. This is WooCommerce to eBay and Facebook in a few seconds. Thank you. Cheers.